box this bad boy. This is the December Pettivore box. You've probably already seen it. It's out and about on Instagram. There are other YouTubers putting up reviews of it, but let's just jump right in. We'll do a really quick unboxing and then I'll give a really brief review of last month's box. First up, the large ticket item is this Juice Beauty Phytopigments Luminous Lip Crayon. Heyo! This baby retails for $22 make ya holla. Now, I'm not sure right now if I am going to use this. It looks like a kind of, let's look at it. Ooh, mine's pinkish. I've seen another person's. Well, now I will be using it because it's kind of a nude, kind of a pinky nude. And I like it. The other ones I saw coming out on Instagram, there was a bunch of different colors. It was like a warmer red, like an orangey red. And I was like, mm, I don't think that would be for me, but this I like. Okay, next item is this Shamanuti Activated Charcoal Cleanser. This retails for $10. I've actually tried this product quite a long time ago thanks to Birchbox. I love this product. It's a very nice size sample. This product actually goes a really long way. It has a very nice smell. It has very good ingredients. It's an activated charcoal cleanser. The only thing that I've thought of, why I never went on to repurchase it after I tried that initial sample, because I really like it a lot, is that it contains peroxide. It's one of the very last ingredients, so I doubt there's very much in it. And it does contribute to one of the very nice sort of like foaming cleanse that it does. Um, I will probably use this because I like it, but I don't think I would repurchase it just because I have a question in my mind about using peroxide in a cleanser. Like if that's really necessary to use on your face and what exactly that does if you don't have really oily skin. Then we have this... Aromatherapy Associates Revive Morning Bath and Shower Oil. What's a bath and shower oil? Uh, I don't know. Massage and contents onto your torso, focusing on any areas of concern. Cup your hands, bring them to your face, and inhale deeply three times. Step into a warm bath or shower and enjoy the benefits of aromatherapy. Oh, cool. Let's see what it smells like. Retails, the full size of this is $73. Mmm, smells nice. Kind of, um, I detect a little rosemary, I think. Grapefruit, mandarin orange, yep, yeah, rosemary. Orange peel, eucalyptus. Ooh, juniper. It's got a nice scent to it, love it. Then you have a sample of the oily hair serum volumizing intelligence. This has got avocado oil, castor oil, sesame oil, passion fruit oil, sunflower, bamboo extract, rosemary, yang lang, cedarwood, and vitamin E. Sounds like it will be nice for the hair. I definitely think Pettivore has stepped up their game. I tried them for three months over the summer and I wasn't too impressed, but I can definitely say these last three boxes, this is my third box the second time around, Loving, loving. Let's get into last month's. Okay, they had this Alate Clean Cosmetics um, Universal Cream for Lip and Cheek. Dude, I have used this every single day since I got it in the box last month. It is just the perfect blush, the perfect cream blush. It sits, I'm wearing it right now, it just sits so naturally and nicely on the skin. One of the biggest complaints I've heard about this product is the packaging. But you know what? Let's all be honest here that it's paper packaging, yes, but it's recyclable. So I know we're like, there's a lot of complaints about the way this is packaged, but you know, in the long run, I haven't had a problem. I mean, the product is still great, even though it's been in paper packaging. So just one less piece of plastic out there in the universe. Next was this LOV scrub in Jasmine Rose. So I really enjoyed this product. It was a little bit too moisturizing for me as a shower product. I don't, and I don't think, I did enjoy it, but I don't think I would repurchase it just because I tend to not purchase products like this that are like five or six ingredients just because I usually think in my mind, I'm just kind of cheap like that. Like I could just make it myself. Although I did really like this. 
I did really enjoy it. It was very fun to get it in the box. Then we have this We Love Eyes eye makeup remover. For my last review, I kind of questioned the tea tree oil in the ser in the product, wondering how it would go around the eyes, but actually it works great. Again, this is another product I don't think I would repurchase just because it's very simple ingredients, jojoba seed oil, grape seed oil, and tea tree oil. Just not something I would repurchase, but a little goes a long way with this product. So I don't think I'll need to repurchase eye remover for quite a while anyway. Last is this Well People Realist Invisible Setting Powder. You know, I honestly haven't tried this yet. I honestly don't need setting powder very much. I have dry skin. The only place I would really need it is where I use my RMS on cover up, which is because it's based in coconut oil. But I find that the way that I apply it, it just looks, makes my eyes look dewy anyway, which I like. So I haven't tried it yet, but it's also not summer here, so we'll see. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!